so this is gonna be an unboxing video for new merchandise uh, so let's just get started I guess Ooh. like usual a lot of bubble wrap so this is the first bag so right off the bat <clears throat> These are my uh, Vivid Bad Squad charms, so we're going to open up and hopefully they are all the correct size and they're not too big or too small. They actually look very cute. I'm really happy with the colors and everything. It's actually, it's they're so cute. I like this. I'm going to go ahead and grab the girls and hopefully they also look pretty good. I should probably count these, but I'm kind of lazy, so I'll probably do that later. But I trust it. I think they gave me the exact numbers I asked for. Ooh, and here they all are together. Let me see. Here they are. They look pretty good. I'm trying to see size-wise, like comparison. They look pretty much like even size with all each other. I think Anne might be just a little bit bigger, but it's actually not even that obvious. But yeah, here they are. They're so cute. Ooh, well, now that I have the bat squad done, um. I already have them and I have Wonderland Showtime. So yeah, I don't know what group should I do next. Should I work on uh, more and more jump? Should I do um, 25? Oh my god, don't kill me Project Sakai fans. I still haven't played everyone else's route. I'm just a Wonderland and Showtime simp. But yeah, basically which one of the other groups should I do next? I know there's still three more. I just don't know which one to do. Ooh, so I'm really excited about these guys. So, I hope they're all complete. Ooh. So, since I'm going to be, I guess the next big event I'll be at is technically Anime Impulse OC. I've been wanting to make these for a while, but I decided to finally do the jump and do it now. I decided to make Niji Sanji mascot uh, pins. There's like nine different designs, so I'm struggling trying to get all of them out. Oh, I can already kind of see that there are some sizing issues like some of these are really big compared to others uh, Hopefully it's not too bad of a difference, but we'll see when I take them out the bag Okay So this is how they look like so we, we're not doing that bad in sizing uh, I think they're just very different designs. So the sizing is really off. So we're doing good and then Fulger and Hike are so tiny Look at him, look at Fulger's mascot. It's literally like, like, look at this. It's a baby, tiny, compared to uh, freaking Albin's mascot. It's so freaking small. God, Ugh, and Ike's, Ike's isn't, okay, in terms, technically it's the same size because like the little feather, it's like, you know, about the same as the rest of these it's just that because of the feather it looks small but I, it's the same size but he just looks so small they they look good i'm happy with how they look it's just the size of these two it's just ah. so if anything i'm just gonna give these guys like a regular price and then those two i'm gonna have like not full price because of the sizing but over than that, they look really good. I'm very happy with how they look. The colors for sure are way more vibrant, especially Uki's than what I had imagined, but they look pretty cute. So here they are, and these guys, I, I actually already made backing cards for them, so today I'm probably just gonna just put them on there. But yeah, here they are. I have uh, Luka, I have Onigiri for the Kindreds, Mistakes, Ugh. And I have my Yaminions. The banana was kind of difficult to do. And then we have the Briscadettes. And then we have Stargazers. And then I believe it's Takaradachi that you pronounce the, me the member's fan name. And then the Confidence and the Quildren. But here they all are in their full glory. They're really cute though. Uh, just sizing, but that tends to happen most of the time. I just don't I really don't understand what happened with Folkers. Like is it cuz it's like Small from this should I made should I have made this like should I like blown it out like poof? I don't know, but there he is there they are And yeah, that's technically it for the charms and pins at least I'm still waiting on prints to arrive 
those just shipped out today so I should get them by next week sometime so yes so I expect a change of fit unless I try to make it cohesive I don't know the point is there will be prints in the next part of the video starting now hello it's been a week since I last showed you guys the new merch that came in and finally the prints have arrived Woo! so it's time to show you guys some of that so the first thing we're gonna do is the prints from cat print here where all my prints are from so I actually decided to go for a different size this time peanuts but there is a bigger size uh, I actually bought some let's see where are they you can see them but this is one of them right here for example I measured it just to make sure it's about 7.5 or 8 by 8 so it's a pretty nice size it's bigger than your usual 5x7 so it's big enough where you can still get a good amount of detail and it's not too big where it'll take up too much space so it's a nice in-between size I'd say so I decided to do these prints that size and we're gonna see how they turned out so here they are so since these are going to make their debut specifically for anime impulse oc uh there's a lot of niji uh guests so for this one i actually mostly wanted to focus on making them for my main oshis those of you guys that have been around know that my main three are those three so i did make prints for them which I have here. I decided to do one for Ver too, not just only because he will be a guest at the event, but I actually do like his design. So I was like, ah, eh, let's see, let's go ahead and make one for him. So let me just cut this and I'll show you guys how they turned out. Hopefully I didn't mess up on the, um, the sizing and everything will be nice and ready to go. Just give me a second while I do this. Oh my god, okay, 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 let's see. Oh, they look so cute so far. I kind of like, when I took them out, I looked a look. I took a look and I was like, ah, they're so cute. All right, then. Uh, let me see. I, I think this angle should be okay. Actually, no, let me fix this angle for a second. Give me, give me, give me a second. Okay, okay, this should work out. So let's start with, with Ver, Ver. Okay, okay, okay. So I was kind of going for a theme for this. I do like the color so far. Everything actually looks really nice. And I actually decided to do it on heavy cardstock, matte. I do like that even though it's matte, it has like a sort of sheen to it. It's not super glossy. I'm not a big fan of like really glossy prints just because when you do, do put them on your wall, if they're too glossy, I feel like, you know, if you're like with the window and the lights hit, they look too, you know, that. So here he is. I like it so far. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, I also moved it back. Hopefully the colors are actually, you can see the colors properly. Ah, okay, oh my god, shoot. Oh my god, okay. The, the colors came out a little bit darker than what I originally wanted, but he looks so good. Oh my god, I love this so much. And I'm just so happy that you're, like, the details and everything, just, they're so nice. Just, ah. I'm really, really proud with how these turned out. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I have my Oshis. And then, okay, I'll do that one later. Let me do the, the, let me do the Niji ones first. And then here we have Luca. Okay, so I don't know if you could, if the colors could pick up that well on the camera, but they, for him, at least in person, they look much more softer, uh, which is what I was going for with like the mascots and everything. I really wanted these prints to showcase the mascots for each member. So for him, I have the Lucubs. They're so cute. Oh my god, I, I'm just so happy with how like these all turned out and you have a little pog and everything. Oh god, it looks so nice. Uh, I'm just excited. I hope I hope the other uh, Niji fans like these at the con. And then for my main one, my baby girl, Edna. Oh my god, same thing. I'm so happy with the colors I decided to do. Just because usually most of my illustrations I do on Procreate because they already have a um, CMYK um, canvas. So I know the colors a little bit better. This is my first time doing these prints. Uh, on Clip Studio. I have done a lot of drawings on Clip Studio, but I know it's kind of 
hard doing RGB to CMYK colors for printing purposes. So I really, I've been using CSP more often and I really wanted to make an illustration on it, like for print. And uh, the colors were a little bit of a hassle, but I was able to do it. So I'm just so happy with this. Ah. And then the last one they said to do, it's not an EG, but it's woo, the Wonderline Showtime gang from Project Sakai. Oh my god. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I am usually don't do like full body just because I'm still I feel like I struggle a little bit with it, but I, for them I really wanted to just because their outfits are so cute. But yeah, this is how it turned out, and they all look so cute. I really love it. I'm I'm so happy with how this turned out. I am really glad that luckily these prints had no issues in terms of like um like colors printing everything's nice i'm just glad the sizing came out pretty decent so if you put them back to back like size wise i guess you could say that they look pretty cohesive yes so happy with these oh thank god Whew. so these are going to make their debut at anime impulse oc uh, first week of September, so I'm so excited. I only printed like how many of these guys? I think I only made 10 of each. I think that should be more than enough. Um, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, that's it for the prints. So here they are. Oh, so excited to post them, but yeah, here they are, my babies. Ooh. Yeah, but here they are. So here's like a Luca one. It's like a you it's a hotter darker pink but yeah they look so cute like they're cute little like heart pin back so cute so here we have that and then stargazer oh my god they look so cute they're actually way bigger than what i expected i thought they were gonna be pretty small but this is actually quite a like a nice size so it's pretty cute there were actually only um actually i think i mentioned this last time there was a sizing issue with the Quildren one and the one for Confidence. These are so tiny. Let's see, like, they don't look as small, I guess, on camera, but if you put them next to the others, like, you know, like that, then, yeah, like, for example, uh, yeah, there you go. You could see, just, dear, look at the difference with the mistake and the confident. Oh my goodness. Ah, and even then, like, the golden one is still smaller compared to this one. Um, if you put them next to the other ones, yeah, it's still pretty small. So I'm going to have to figure that out. I, for sure, there's no way I'm going to give it the same price range like these two compared to the others. I still have to figure that out, but yeah, I just think they all look pretty cute in their little pin backs. And then here we have Onigiri for the Kindred. I know there's an actual kindred mascot, but it's so hard to draw. So I'm just, I was like, I'm just gonna go with Onigiri. Like, it's cute. Everyone knows, like, you know, what it's from. And here we have, actually, I did show them last time all, but like, with their little pins, they look cute. Briscadettes. And then here we have uh, the Yaminions with the banana. Uh, did I show all of them? Yeah, I think that's it. But yeah, they're all here and they're ready to go. So. I'm gonna also, these are also gonna make their debut at Anime Impulse OC, so there's quite a quite a few like new things to go for that. But here they are, they're ready to go. So yeah, there they are, all nice and safe and packaged. Okay guys, so that should be it for today's vlog. So once again, thank you for watching, and as I mentioned, the next big convention I will be at is Anime Impulse OC. That will be for the coming month of September, so here's just some information on the event if you're interested in maybe stopping by. So if you do, you know, stop by and say hi. It'll just be kind of nice to, I guess, meet some of you guys. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next vlog. Bye bye!